Welcome back to Match 1. This is Old Man Pool. We have lost the die roll. MTGO has failed us the betrayal. Uh, I think this hand is playable despite that. Uh, we've got Spellweaver Eternal and Struggle to Survive. Uh, opponent's friendly here. Uh, and Mulligan's down to 6. I'm going to keep. All right, starting off with the blue. Let's see if the shuffler agrees with me. That sounds like a rough proposition. If we're not going to play the desert here, I'd rather just cycle it, because it looks like we're a little bit low on action, a little bit high on lands. We have both colors already, so. Uh, OK, got to play cycles. OK, finds mountain. All right, well, I'm glad he's going to get to do something here. Seems like such a nice fellow. Ooh. We're playing the mirror, although he's playing a much bigger version of the mirror than I am. Let's play the Eternal here, and we'll leave up Essence Scatter next turn, or have Struggle, and then we can cycle away the desert if necessary as well. This is creature, right? I think it's going to be correct 90% of the time, but it's worth checking out. Looks like the Shuffler did agree with him at least. We could just straight up kill that. We can offer to trade, although that doesn't seem best right now. We could just essence scatter what he plays next. He probably won't trade here. I think I'm gonna swing and keep up the scatter in the desert. I think that Aerial Guide's a better card than Spell Reversal most of the time, and we haven't shown my opponent reason to be like really really scared of us we're also playing kind of a tricky deck so you may be afraid to block for that reason i think we can kind of safely get in for two here and get our cake and eat it too keep up essence scatter in the desert won't play struggle to kill off the aerial guy just yet um because he's probably going to play something before com or attack before he plays something all right punching for a couple here Okay, yeah, no trade. Not real surprising. And we'll pass back to my opponent. And don't hate our position here. We gotta get rid of anything that he plays. Uh, and drop a desert. Yep, we will take the two. You got it. New striker. I kind of don't like countering that that much. Hmm. We could just use struggle on the aerial guide, although ugh, I guess we do, even though it gets to eternalize. He does have to discard later. At this point, he's stuck on lands. It might be a while before he's really happy to do that. Not my favorite there, but I think this is the correct tempo play. I think the tempo play a lot of times is going to be right in this deck. Another struggle. Okay. So I think I am just going to kill off his aerial guide main phase then and get him for an extra point of damage. We have another in our hand. I don't think we need to get rid of the desert just yet. I think this is a pretty reasonable threat to, to kill. All right, get in for our sick three damage here and we'll pass back to my opponent. So. We have kind of a, I think we have a decent position, but it's a little bit tenuous. You may find just a good threat to stick here, good removal spell. He's stuck on lands. At least he was last turn. And it looks like he uh, cycled pretty aggressively to find more. Okay, and all of his own. And a survivor. Okay. Riddle form. So I think we're going to swing with our Eternal. If he blocks with his Survivor, we get to get him by struggling away as Eternal. And otherwise, if he just trades, I think I'm okay with that. And we'll play the Ceradon. We get a little bit of advantage from the Afflict. I like doing this one as mana's all tapped. Yeah. 
That's perfectly fine. Okay. Get that sweet afflict trigger, and we'll just play the Ceridon in that case. I guess we could play Riddle Form, kept up Struggle, and then tried to sneakily kill my opponent's Survivor, although that doesn't feel that great, because he's probably not going to play anything before combat anyway. And go to the Gauntlet. Okay, that is a good thing to struggle away. Another blue source. So let's cast Struggle right now. Kill off his Manticore. We'll swing with the Ceridon. If he wants to jump, I think I'm okay with that. Nice. And I think we're just going to play the real form. And that puts us in not a terrible position to keep scrying for uh, value as well. Right now my opponent is stuck on one card in hand. He can bring the Sinuous Striker back at some point, although the Ceridon will be able to keep her from blocking, at least for the foreseeable future. Cut. Eh, okay, well, cut's pretty good. So now we gotta rely on our riddle form to get there, but we have a lot of spells. And we have the ability to scry. Odds are we'll be able to find something. Okay, yeah, we'll take a hit. <laughs> okay, well, let's start off by cycling this one on the off chance we want to play that. I don't think there's anything we could find that would make us want to play it, but... Okay. Let's play the Burning Fist Minotaur, then. We have the option to discard the desert. And we can just scry it away at the end of my opponent's next turn. This isn't just what's attacking, right? It's just in general. Yeah. If he swings in with the Cunning Survivor, we'll just take it. I don't really want to give my opponent the value of killing two things. Our deck does seem pretty cool. Sweet. All right. Playing something big here. Or just going to bring back a Senior Striker. Unreasonable. Hit with the survivor. And we'll cycle this. So we do need to find action. Like my opponent's got a better board position than we do. But oh, Winds of Rebuke is pretty dang good. Yeah, like, probably one of the best draws we could have had, actually. We get, to get rid of a striker, and we swing for a bunch. Um, we can't kill him this turn. I guess we can, actually. Unless, yeah, he's got no cards in hand. We deal six to him, swing a thrill for him. Right, not missing anything. Don't think so. And that way he doesn't know about the Windsor Rebuke, which is a little bit nice. So, yeah, a couple of good draws right there. It's Inferno Jet. And kill it the real form. I'm so happy. I've wanted to play this deck for so long. And it's only gotten better, I think. Okay, opponent concedes. So real form did not tons there. Um, but I think this was it never got to the point where we had to start scrying and really got value. Okay, my opponent is also playing blue red. Got decent removal, has some bigger creatures. Um, so I think evasive threats did look better. Uh, if he's playing things like Sinuous Striker coming back, or even just big things in general, Frontline Devastators maybe not quite as good. Crash through didn't seem fantastic. Reed Stalker didn't show us any flyers. I think our initiate might be a little bit nice to sneak through at the end. What well, looks bad in our deck, if anything? 
I I don't even think we're gonna change anything here. Um, we didn't see anything in iPhone stack that made me like desperate to counter it. Even Reed Stalker didn't look that great. Felt knowledge, I think, is probably still worse than the illumination. Well, I think it's close. Okay, let's let's submit again. It worked once, right? Uh, okay, we're reward with another pretty good draw. Let's go ahead and keep. Uh, opponent does keep all his hands, so it might not be quite this easy this time. Uh, do we want to just play Crash Through to cycle? Or do we want to get like a little bit of value with the Seeker? Hmm. It is kind of a turn three play right now. I don't think it's likely to change our two play, turn two play. I think we're going to keep it for just sort of random upside. I think we need to cycle right now. Ooh, opponent plays the spell we were eternal. I guess we'll play a battlefield scavenger and prepare to take two from the eternal because I don't think we ever want to trade here. It is interesting. Cards like this are just so aggressive inherently. Like they make your opponent not want to block. The flick two is like serious amount of damage. If we trade one for one, he gets two damage in, it feels pretty bad. Burial guide. Okay. That may just be getting struggled. We may need to interact with my opponent. Eh, actually, we'll probably just play the we'll look. Don't think we're gonna exert here. If he wants to trade, he's welcome to, but I don't think he's going to. Keep up struggle, I guess, on the off chance we see something, but attack. And play lock. I think this is actually one of our better threats. This card has already impressed me in the format, although it it went from a pretty low like start. I looked and I was like, eh, I don't know, two two, kinda bad on defense, only okay. Just decent on offense. But I've looked at it more and been like, yeah, we'll look to some pretty heavy work pretty quick. Okay, we got down to 14. We'll probably kill whatever his follow-up is here. Yes, we're definitely killing that. And we may just play the crash through for value. Let's struggle. I don't think we can afford to wait on the battlefield scavenger. Uh, I mean, when I say wait, I don't think we want to exert for value at this point. I think this is true and true a race right now. Do we want to play the crash through? Next turn we could play it and have it available and have a land and play as and scatter and seeker. So I don't think we're going to. I think we're just gonna swing again. Go down to 13. Don't have a way to deal with the aerial guide right now, which is not, not insig insignificant. Maybe we should have killed that earlier. Maybe the frontline devastator's not as bad. I think that was correct though. Or just trust in our deck to give us one of our uh, main removal spells. Yeah, it's kind of disgusting, honestly. I can't believe we got three of these to start out the draft. Champion of Wits. Okay, that's pretty good. Some pretty good miscellaneous value. How much does it cost for max? Seven. But still. He gets to throw away lands he doesn't want here. It blocks the battlefield scavenger pretty well. Yeah, that's pretty good value. Traded two crap cards. 
for two good cards. And I'm not sure we're going to win this race. There's another struggle. So let's see. He swings for four next turn, assuming he doesn't have anything. Uh, we play Crash Through, or I guess we play no, maybe we keep Essence Scatter? If we play Struggle here, we swing for 5, it goes down to 8. We go down to 6. And uh, next turn, we counter whatever he plays. Down to 6. It goes down to 3 if he attacks. Then he could take us to 2, but then we'd kill him. We'll have... Crash through to maybe randomly get him. I, I think we just keep going for the tempo play. It's funny, I didn't. Yeah, I just keep going for the tempo play. He got a pretty good value out of the champion, but. Take up one to eight. Doesn't scatter. Okay, he swings. Gets us down to six. We counter his play here. Yeah, I mean, this might be a bait, but I think we do need to get rid of it. He could have another pretty good play here. Yeah, it's a new serpent. All right, a little bit unfortunate. Ooh, thirst, man. So it's not on right now. So I guess we hit the aerial guide with it. Oh, then he can't kill us next turn anyway. Like crash through, see what we draw. Random mountain I don't love. So we'll swing with both. We take four if he cracks back. Let's see, this is, yeah, doesn't untap. So get rid of the aerial guide. I wonder if it's better to get rid of the turtle, honestly. This can swing for up to three. So we're gonna play the secret inside that just blocks that. I guess let's see if he blocks the very first. Not gonna exert the scavenger. <laughs> Still not exerting the scavenger. Yeah, these cards are good. Okay, just gonna block. So next turn, you maybe just plan on bringing that back. I'm gonna play the Seeker regardless. Because mm, next turn, he just re hits with the Striker. Okay, plays the striker again, or something better. So it's probably going to be the striker. That's four. We kind of need the thirst to get through. Right now, he can't kill us. I guess we play like the seeker, plan on thirsting that, hope we find something. If that's the case, though, we should probably preserve our life, which means we should use the uncomfortable thirst and hope to find something to interact with that. Okay. I think we're just gonna get rid of the guide. A little bit more dangerous. Could have gotten for an extra point of damage there. Actually, maybe it was significant. Probably should have played that first. 
He probably still would trade. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. And that extra point actually may matter a lot. Okay, I think we're not looking great here. That champion of wits, I think, did a lot of work for him. A striker, or the serpent. Attack. Magma spray. We swing with the Moloch, play Magma spray to get rid of the striker with that combination. Have the Seeker of Insight take two. Okay. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, over blocks, I think we're not sad. Let's go to attacks. I'm sure it's a good draw. I feel like a lot of the time we're just kind of hoping for good draws, but we've had a lot of them. Okay. Oh, we'll get rid of the striker. Can't really die to open fire out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, open fire would have been good. This is less, I mean, this is, I guess, about the same as open power would have been. Okay, yeah, let's discard our mountain, and we'll play the Eternal. Okay, so he's got to draw something. Whew, this is a really close game. It's fun. I like playing this for a tempo deck. Oh, no. Oh, he found a land. Yeah, Champion Wits is big. Draws a couple, and they're really good spells. Oh, uh, yeah, that land was probably a pretty good hit for him. Mm. We're not out of it, but that was probably pretty good. Follow one, and even initiate. So he's got two really good spells. Or at least two reasonably good spells. Better than a 4-4. How do we win? We don't win the long game, I don't think. So I think we're just going to take two. Hope to find a removal spell. We have a lot. We've played a lot. Eh, well, we can cycle that at least. <laughs> I am so good at magic. Oh my goodness. We're so lucky. I'd be pretty tilted if I was my opponent. I had like three great draws in a row. I was super lucky. I guess probably telling my opponent that is probably BM, but I was super lucky. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys for match two.